Hello Flosh, just passing by, my name is Bryce Narrows, and please excuse the fan, it's been really warm lately, so again, if you hear something in the background, you know what it is. So tonight, I have something a little bit different, and like I mentioned before, I want to do more music related videos, and today, I thought, why not do a video where I showcase any new CDs that I've recently uh, recently purchased. And I just want to show you show you guys these. Um, these videos, they're a bit more laid back. They're not going to be like very huge production. It's just more casual. And so this is just if you want to get just, you know, want to chill out, you know, you know, just relax. Then these are the videos for you. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, we have one, two, three, four. Um, sorry, lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 CDs to go through, and by the time I'm recording this, um, three more are on the way. And so I probably won't showcase them here, but maybe next month I'll showcase those and any others I, I purchase. So the first CD we're going to talk about, this is by a classic band. Maybe you've heard of them. Um, they're called The Beatles, and this is their, I want to say their fifth album this is yep i'm yeah i think it's their fifth this is the, their soundtrack to their to the film help um i have not seen help actually i've seen the hard day's night but i have not seen the movie help if there are any beatles fans out there who can let me know if it's a good movie to check out then please let me know in the comments below um but this is a classic one definitely one of the very most notable one of their early stuff before they go more experimental um, of course, this has the title track, um, I Need You, um, You're Gonna Lose That Girl, which is a really good song, uh, Take It a Ride, Act Naturally, and of course, the very emotional song, Yesterday. Um, so yeah, overall, this is a really good album, or soundtrack album, same thing. Um, if, by the time when I'm talking, you'll probably see... Um, uh, footage of me um, getting a deeper look at it, and so you're getting, so you're seeing all the stuff that comes with it. But overall, um, a really, really good find. I got this at Rite Aid actually, because um, there's a Rite Aid not too far from my house. It's like a five minute walk, or a seven minute walk, rough five five to seven minutes. And so there's a Rite Aid near my work, and and sometimes I go in there just to see if they have anything anything cool. A lot of the times they don't, but very rarely they'll have something worth picking up and happen to be this one. So I'm very happy I got this. This makes it my fifth album by the Beatles I own. Technically, well, yeah, eh, four, four or five. Four if you want to just count the studio albums, and five if you want to include the... Um, let me just grab it real quick. The one compilation. So, so yeah, I do hope to get more Beatles albums in the future, but I am slowly making my way. So that's the first CD that I picked up, and next one I'm gonna do these two in pairs because I got these at the same time, and both of these are greatest hits. And if you, if you remember way back or if you've gone back and seen my CD collection series then you know my thoughts on greatest hits. Um, I try not to get them. I only get them if um, for instance if it's an artist that you know I've listened to their geek cuts I'm not that into it I'm only into the hits but that's pretty much the only reason why I would get uh, greatest hits compilations but but for the most part I try to get the studio albums but I do make exceptions, and these two artists are the exceptions. Um, they're by the same company. This is by Gold, and the artists they did the compilations of are the Carpenters and the Righteous Brothers. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of funny. Both of them, well, actually, actually no, these two are these two are siblings. These two aren't. So, but they got brother in the name. I know that's a stretch. But anyway, um, so I got these at the same time. I got them from Amazon. And yeah, they're just, for the most part, they're very straightforward. They're actually a two, they're two, both of them are two discs. So you get a ton of songs, a lot of the many well-known. 
no, well-known songs. Um, with the Carpenters, of course, you get uh, Superstar, Rainy Days and Mondays. Um, um, let's see, We've Only Just Begun. Um, they have their cover of Ticket to Ride. Um, and Close to You. And overall, just... If you want, if you need good Carpenter's Grace hits, this, I think I recommend this one because it again has a ton of songs. Same with the Righteous Brothers. Again, two discs has some of the songs that you would want. Um, I actually wasn't too familiar with the Righteous Brothers stuff. Um, I only knew like Unchained Melody. Of course, that's the most famous, the famous song by them. Um, even though it was actually a cover, but I'm really, I really am impressed with a lot of the stuff in here. This. Again, some good um, blue-eyed soul in here. If you're into that, then the Righteous Brothers are definitely a, a, a duo to check out. So, again, really good, really nice I got these, but um, not again, not too often I'll get Grace hits. So let's go ahead and keep moving. So the next next album, next um, albums I have. Um, the next three are from the same artist, and if you've seen my Owl House reactions, then you can, then if you haven't noticed that at the end of, at, at the end, at the end card, that I always have a Styx song playing. Um, so, so the next band is Styx, because before I've only had, I've only had two studio albums plus a very, very small greatest hits. It's not very good. It only had like eight songs on it. It's kind of lame, but. So that's why I wanted to get more of their studio albums. And so this one here is their fifth album, I think. This is Equinox with a very interesting album cover with the ice on fire. And then on the back, of course, you have the same thing. Um, the one thing I don't like about these CD issues is that the booklet is just pathetic. <laughs> like, it just if you open them up, like it just gives you like the very bare um, in bare, bare necessities of information like you know who's in the band, who played what, what are the songs, uh, who produced it, all that, all that very boring stuff. Like there's no lyrics, um, so that's kind of a shame. But the music itself is definitely worth checking out. Um, um, pretty much top to bottom is all oh, good. Everything is is just great. Um, starts off with. Light Up, then the semi-big hit Lorelei, um, Midnight Ride's pretty good, Born for Adventure, and of course it finishes off with Sweet Madam Blue, which is another really great song by them, a really underrated song, I, I, I would say. Not many, I don't see many people talk about that much. But yeah, Equinox, definitely worth checking out if you want to get into sticks. Let me just do that so you can see it better. So yeah, really good, really good grab. Um, Pretty much the rest I got from Amazon, by the way. And so next up, let me go this one here. This is the follow-up to Equinox, the first album to feature Tommy Shaw on guitar. We have Crystal Ball. And I just love that album cover, by the way. Um, I just, just something that's really, really pleasant about this. And of course, on the back, you have a picture of Ballerina Slippers, of course, to fit in with the final song, which is Claire the Loon slash Ballerina. But all the other songs, again, are really good. It starts off with Put Me On, then goes into the Tommy Shaw pen song Mademoiselle, which is really good. And, I mean, Crystal Ball, um, This Old Man, and I've already mentioned uh, Claire the Loon and Ballerina, just top to bottom. Another really great album. Um, I like this one a slightly better than Equinox, but that doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean much because both the albums are really, really good. Definitely worth checking out if you want to get the sticks. So, really good grab from there. And the last sticks I have for now is this one. This is, um, I forgot what number this is, but this is Cornerstone. And this is definitely the band going into more commercial, in a more commercial, um, one phase, I should say, um, because you know has the massive hit "Babe" on this, which I still like. I mean, I don't mind ballads, honestly. Um, the other songs are really good as well. "Lights" is a pleasant song. "Why Me," I like. Um, has the minor hit "Boat on the River." First time, another cheesy ballad, but again, I don't mind. 
just again, I mean, it's not as strong as Crystal Ball or Equinox, but it's definitely still worth checking out if you want a more commercial sounding album by Styx. So again, not bad, not bad, pretty good. All right, so next up, fix my hair. So next up is a band my, most of you might not know. Of course, if any new folks come along who are big fans of 70s hard rock, then you might know this band. So the band's called Uriah Heep, all right? And this is their third album. This one's called Look At Yourself. And you're probably wondering, what kind of album cover is this? Well, if you had the vinyl, and I don't own the vinyl, but I've seen pictures of it, but the square is supposed to have a mirror. Of course, you can't really do that on a CD, unfortunately, but um, there would be a mirror here and you would literally be looking at yourself, which I, which I've, again, I've seen pictures and it looks really cool. So it's kind of a shame you can't do it here, but oh well, what can you do? And these are, and if you, if you're into like 70s hard rock, then definitely check out this band. Um, I've recently started getting into them. I have three, two others as of now. I have their second and their fourth album, and this is their third. Um, I'm gonna get their first album pretty soon. But it's a very, again, has some really great songs in here. Look at Yourself, the title track's great. I Wanna Be Free has and has a 10 minute epic called July Morning, which is definitely worth checking out. Um, Shadows of Grief, what, sh what Should We Do? And, another, and this has a lot of bonus tracks, a lot of outtakes and lots of demos and some live recordings but I, this is really good and also the booklet is <laughs> i really love it has a lot of information on the um what was going on in the band at the time and the lyrics of course and lots of pictures and just overall i'm really happy with these these i believe these are 2003 yeah these are 2003 re reissues and they did a really good job on these so again definitely a band worth checking out if you're into more heavier music from the 70s. So next, next is a solo artist. Okay, this is a man by the name of Lou Reed, and this is his third album. This is Berlin, a concept album. Um, fair warning, if you do want to check, if you want do want to check out Lou Reed, um, um, maybe this one might not be a good start, um, because fair warning, it's a very depressing album. Um, Again, it's a, it's a concept, so it tells a story, and it's a very sad story, because it has, like, sex, um, I, think, uh, I believe it has, has rape or sexual assault, something like that, like, drugs, even suicide, so, um, you, got, you gotta be in the right mindset to listen to this one, but it's still a great album regardless. Um, Lady Day, um, Men of Good Fortune, Carolina said, Caroline Says 1 and 2, The Kids, and it finishes off with sad song, a haunting, very hauntingly beautiful song. And, you know, Lou Reed's not the best singer, but I feel like his voice really does match on the things he's talking about. So again, not not the first, not definitely not a good starter for Lou Reed. Um, if you want a good starter, then definitely check out his second album, uh, Transformer. That's a good one to start with, in my opinion. <laughs> So yes, that is Berlin. So next up, we have five more to go. Okay, these next two are by the same band. Okay, again, these are more these are again more hard rock stuff, but these but these but this band is from America. Um, 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 Uriah Heep is from uh, Britain, by the way. But this is an American hard rock band. This is Blue Oyster Cult. And you might know them by the by the classic hits, um, Don't Fear the Reaper. And also the SNL sketch. I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. But I've recently started trying to delve into more of their back catalog. And I that's why I purchased their first album, which is self-titled. And their second album, um, Tyranny and, and Mutation. And I do own two other um, Blue Oyster Cult albums. I have their third album, Secret Treaties, right here. And I have their fourth album, Agents of Fortunes, which is the album that has uh, Don't Feel the Reaper on. Let's see if it comes back right now. 
So again, going back to these, um, I, um, I'm still list I'm still listening to them, but I've listened to this one fully, and I really am enjoying this one so far. Um, this one I haven't had that much time yet, but from what I'm what I've heard, um, I I really do like it. So I guess I just need to listen to this more, and maybe this will click to me. But again, these are just really great 70s hard rock hard rock bands. Definitely worth checking out. And I'm definitely looking forward to to really delving deeper into their catalog. Okay, so next band is another again another um, hard rock band from the 70s, and this one was released in 1975. And um, it even goes into a bit more has a little heavy metal flair to it. And this is a band called Nazareth, and this is their fifth album. <laughs> I'm taking a pattern here. That seems to be a theme we're running into. Um, this is their fifth album, Hair of the Dog. And look at that album cover. Very, very dark tone to it. And it goes on the back. It's a little bit more to it. Let me see if I can take out the booklet. Actually, no. You'll actually see the full. You'll actually, you'll actually just will see the foot B-roll of the album in closer detail. But again... Again, great 70s hard rock band, um, at least from this album. Um, um, again, this is my this is like my introduction to Nazareth, but what I've heard from this is really good. I definitely want to check it out more. And so, yes, let's see what else. And by the way, if if I name a band that I'm not too familiar with, and you want to just suggest any any album, then again, leave comments down below. I I'm always in the comment section. Okay, so last two, and again, these are from the same band. And this is a band you might know some songs like "Carry On Wayward Son" and "Dust in the Wind." And I happen to, oh, I happen to recently purchased two of their albums. I had one. This, by the way, the band's Kansas, and I have I only had one. Which this one's probably the most well-known album, "Left Overture." But now I have three with these two. So I, so the ones I purchased are their self-titled debut, which is really great. I really do like the choice of album cover. Because, and if you don't know, this is supposed to be James Brown, a one of the he was an abolitionist during before the Civil War, before the Civil War, and he was a very radical abolitionist. I would that's putting it that's putting it lightly. If you you can go ahead and look him up, it's a pretty interesting, pretty, pretty interesting guy. Maybe his, I mean, his heart was in the right place, but his his methods were a bit questionable. Um, but again, but the music itself, again, I, I again, I, I want to listen to this more, but I'm really loving what I'm hearing. Um, um, they're at this point they're more a progressive rock band, kind of like in the in like Gen Genesis and yes but this is but these guys are from America because when you think of progressive progressive rock you mainly think of bands from Britain or in England but these guys were American or an American band and they did progressive rock really well I would say and same with sticks to a degree but but <laughs> we're, we're, we're done with sticks we're talking about Kansas <laughs> so yeah really liking this debut album so far and of course I you had to get their most their second most well-known album and that's this one the point of no return of course has the big hit dust in the wind and i wanted to get this album not because of dust in the wind but the title track point of no return i really love that song i really love that song i listened to that song not too long ago and i that has a really catchy vibe to it and yeah it's just again really good um Again, another album I need to take more time with, but I'm really glad I got this. Definitely, again, glad I have them in the collection. So, those are all the CDs I've recently purchased, and I hope to do this hopefully once a month, or whenever I get a good amount of CDs, then, I, then I'll probably kind of do the same thing here. Again, more casual, not too much edits or any big production or anything. Again, these are more casual if you just want to chill out and just watch me just talk about music because I'm a, again I'm a huge music fan and I want to talk more about it so if you do like these types of videos then please leave a like subscribe for more um, follow me on the socials because on 
especially on Instagram because whenever I get a new CE, I always tend to put it in my stories. So that's there. That's there if you want to check this out. And and that's about it. Um, thank you guys for watching. And by the way, check out my CD collection series if you want to see all the other CDs I have. And that's about it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys again. And I'll see you see you around. Goodbye for now.